for TNGG and our 3-1 with today is with Tom O'Keefe, uh, better known as Boston Tweet by many Bostonians. Um, Tom, thanks for talking with yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. Um, so can you explain in a nutshell what exactly you do for a living? Uh, when we're a tweet, that's it, for a living. But uh, obviously it's focused just on Boston, what's happening in the city, uh, 20-somethings, early 30-somethings, living directly in the city, green line, red line, and just what could be of interest to them in Boston, whatever's happening. So every day I wake up and kind of figure out what the hell am I going to chat about today, and you know, people feed me information, and that's basically what's happening in Boston. I don't get paid for anything I tweet, and uh, you know, just kind of go out and enjoy the city. Alrighty. Um, how did you, how did you land this job? Um, and what's your, I mean, what's your s source of income then, if you don't get paid for? Yeah, I wouldn't even call it a job. My mom called today and asked, "How's my job?" And I'm like, yeah, it's "Just kind of a life, actually. It's not really a job." <laughs> so I actually landed it. Kind of one of the worst times of my life. The fall of 08, I had two internet startups, and they just failed because the markets, everything was crashing, and it was just more or less rock bottom. I had nothing going at the time. No one was hiring, so I was like, might as well. While I'm biding my time, start chatting about local business, restaurants, bars, make sure that people were still out. A uh, huge fear that Boston would be a ghost town. And from there, it really took off. And super surprised. Never expected to do anything because, you know, it's, it's an account. It's a Twitter account. It's not something I actually physically built like code. Uh, right. So that's kind of how it took off. And just got chatting. And it's, that's been almost two and a half years now. Uh, on the money side, I actually worked for Groupon on the back end. So they hired Boston Tweet. They didn't hire me sort of as a relationship manager because I meet so many people in the city and just chat about on videos, you know, business owners I know, and just bring it up in conversation. Excellent. Um, how important would you say uh, social media is in your life? Um, do you get the majority of information about where to go or deals from Twitter or do people contact you directly because they know that you can promote their business? Uh, a little of both. I mean, social media media importance in my life, it kind of is my life, so it's, it's, <laughs> without it, I wouldn't have a job anymore, which would suck, because it's a great job. Um, a lot of the stuff, I have a great list, so lists on Twitter have been really good, and I create specific lists for bars, restaurants, um, news sources in Boston, and I get probably the majority of my information from that, and uh, you know, following people like Joe and Chang, Flower, uh, Myers and Chang, all the restaurants and stuff, so that's a great source. Uh, PR firms always... Um, pitch me information, pitch me events that are happening. That's a little more on the email, traditional-based stuff. Uh, and other is just reading newspapers, reading blogs, just whatever might happen. And a lot of it's coming around the city and just seeing what's happening. Awesome. Um, and who should Bostonians follow on Twitter, other than yourself, of course? <laughs> no one, I don't think. Just me. No one? <laughs> uh, um, no, I'm so focused on sort of the kind of the restaurant scenes in Boston. Universal Hub's a great uh, Twitter account to follow everything that's happening, newsworthy Absolutely. stuff, stuff that's, I don't touch on sort of the bad stuff that happens in Boston, but he definitely gets more into that. His blog is terrific. Uh, for on the foodie side, I think Joanne Chang, a flower, Myers and Chang, is a terrific um, tweeter, whatever it's called, and she does a lot of twit pics of the food, she does, you know, a lot of that food porn imagery stuff that she's fantastic with, and she owns three or four restaurants, has a cookbook, and she's still tweeting, it's herself, so... Well, thank you for talking with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, and follow Boston Tweet on Twitter because there's a lot of good deals in the city that people don't know about. There's a free burrito down the street, actually, that I just left.